So I'm getting ready to do the uh, main side or the f or the front side and whatnot. And I'm thinking I'm just going to end this video here and upload a little later and come back when I actually get something really accomplished with this thing. Because right now I'm kind of just slowly building this thing out. So, like I said, I'll just I'll come back when I actually I'll upload this video as it is, and I'll actually come back hopefully in the next day or two. With some with something a little bit more uh, with something that actually looks a more a little bit more well lo a little bit more done so yeah well I accidentally ran out of us uh, masking tape so I'm kind of stuck with what I got right here but even though I ran out of masking tape I've still been doing stuff I've been I've still been building components I need for this thing. And the one thing I've been working on for a while now is the view meter. As you can tell, I got the LEDs pretty much set up. I got the actual tack in place. And of course, I have a nice little uh, system to more or less keep it nice and protected. And, all, and of course, I got this. And it's more or less going to look something like this. Granted, I'm going to have a piece of plastic covering this whole area that way so the needle actually doesn't get damaged. So give me a second to hook up the LED lights and I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, so here's what the view meter is more or less going to look like whenever it's uh, in, in daylight or whenever lights on. Of course, under the bottom you can actually see the lights themselves. Now if I turn off the actual, now if I turn off my lights. It's actually a lot more brighter on camera than it is in person, but it's still pretty bright even in person. I think I might actually line these with, I think I might actually just line this with standard white, uh, with standard white uh, paper to help, to help get these LEDs to reflect more because I was originally hoping I can just do the simple uh, red trim and it'll, it'll be bright enough, but it's not. I mean, like I said, the camera is showing it to be pretty incredibly bright, but actually in person it's relatively dim. Let's see if I can simulate how dim it is actually, actually in, per in person. It's about yay dim in person. Yeah, it's about yay dim in person. And that's full volume. This is one of the things that sucks about Android is that when is that they is that Android likes to over overcorrect on videos and whatnot, so it can't properly uh, so I really can't properly display how dim or how bright these certain things are. So I'll come back when I line everything and see what it, see what it looks like. Okay, it took a little bit longer than I thought, but it actually legitimately does help. So let me see how it looks in person with the lights on, with the uh, faceplate on and whatnot. That actually doesn't look half bad. Yeah, that actually doesn't look half bad. I'm going to turn the lights off and see how it looks. Oh yeah, it definitely brightens it up. It brightens it up, but not by much. But it has just enough reflection to where I can actually add Kazai's logo right here and it should light up just fine. There's nothing I can do about this right here because that's the way this piece of metal is uh, designed. Even if I hot glue it down to the very, um, to, down to it, it's still going to do that. But yeah, that definitely did help. So I'll come back when I get the rest of this thing figured out. Alright, so it's the next day, and one thing I got is um, some wooden dowels and some more copper piping to build a little uh, front, uh, yeah, the little front uh, speaker grill thing, just like on my dubstep gun here. But unlike my dubstep gun, I'm actually going to make sure that these things can actually be anchored, because I'm actually going to have a piece of wooden dowel going from the from the tip of this, from the top of this, from the uh, basically top portion of this piece of copper down to about maybe. 
here or so, here or so that way so this whole that way so these things will actually be anchored into the actual dubstep gun unlike mine where they're just I mean they're kind of anchored and they're kind of not because basically there's just a small little piece of a uh, wooden dowel just going just basically let me just show you you can just barely see the outlining right there that little, that little indentation right there in the middle of the screen that's where one of the little wooden, wooden dowel pieces is of course you can actually see it right there so as you can tell these really are not that well anchored so as you can tell these aren't really anchored in that well I mean they're I mean they're still strong they're still anchored in lot strong strong enough to where I can easily pull it pull pull it away with the pull it away from this piece of metal right here with the magnet and whatnot but I want to make sure that cause eyes are anchored in really good so I'm currently in the process of properly spacing these things out and getting everything properly aligned and then I'm going to uh, basically cut basically do some tracing and whatnot and anchor these things in well actually first I'm going to spray paint them after I make sure I get everything properly set up and then I'm going to spray paint them and then I'm going to anchor them into the uh, depth step into the front of the depth step gun so I'll come back when I get all that figured out all right so I got the generalization figured out and if I flip it over you can get an idea of how the sticks are going to be going in now yes they're not fully bracing the uh, bracing the uh, they're not fully against the uh, foam board which is okay because I can just use simple popsicle sticks to help fill in the gaps so of course also if I actually pull one of these out give me a second to uh, I'm going to pause and come back now when I pulled these out, you can actually see that I had to notch one of the end, that I had to notch some of the sides. This side I didn't have to notch. But I had to notch both sides on this one too, and that's because they were interfering with the rim of the speaker. Even though it's not much of an interference, it's just enough that will allow the well, especially on this one. This one's a pretty freaking well, yeah, I mean. This one, of course, these one allow the allow them to go fit through the holes and whatnot. So I just had to go in there and basically notch the uh, wood the uh, wooden shafts. The times I'm happy, my father has a vice clamp out in the garage. But if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be able to notch these things the way I did. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take them apart, take these little guys apart, and spray paint them matte black. I also have to worry about this constantly whenever I try to go outside at night. Come on, foot putty puts. Putty puts. Putty puts. No, you're not indoor kitty. Not yet at least. We gotta get you fixed and get you your shots. Then you can probably come in. Putty put. So cute. Alright, I'm not going to bore you with me spray painting everything, but um, I'm now starting to spray paint everything. So, um, depending on, uh, well, actually I'm going to see how long this video is and decide if I want to stop it here and just do a whole second part because I don't want these videos to be like 20 minutes long. So I'll see how this is coming, see how long this video is before I do anything else. I know this really doesn't have much to do with uh, Kazai's dubstep gun build, but um, since this video is going around 8 minutes now, I thought I'll just probably end it on this maybe. I don't know if I'll go any further, but I um, also want to show what I'm doing on the side when I'm not working on uh, Kazai's dubstep gun. And that is raising my baby betta fish. The reason why they're in jars is because they're at the age of where they're going to start fighting each other. And if I don't jar them, they're going to, well, kill each other. But this is just four of four of my uh, jarred baby bettas. And they're all really, really nice. Of course, you can actually see one, one of the other ones right there in the back. Of course, it's his own jar too right there. So I'm pretty impressed that I've somehow managed to properly raise my own batch of betta of uh, bettas. This is the father. 
So I have no idea what I'm gonna have, what these guys are gonna look like when they get older, but I'm still very impressed with that man. Just somehow keep these little stinkers alive to the, up to this point. So um, <clears throat> probably what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to uh, to make since the, I don't want these videos to be over 10 minutes long, even though that ends up happening, ends up even though that's what's going to end up happening to this one too. I try to keep them. I'm going to try and keep them short, but, um, yeah. So, um, the next portion will be me actually putting the, hopefully putting the whole front together and some of the side sections together and maybe even the, uh, VU meter. I don't know yet, but I gotta figure out what exactly is going to happen. It'll just be as I go, pretty much, with, with these type of videos, unfortunately. Since, since I can't be cohesive worth a snot.